Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG. And we are partway through the Highlands, uh, Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls. Uh, we just finished the first big room in the last episode, in case you didn't catch it. So this room here, and that's all been done. And we're ready to proceed on into the next part of the dungeon here. So let's get her done. I'm going to have to refresh my buffs here pretty soon. Um, actually, that time probably should be right about now. Um, let's see here. We can... Yeah, we can che cheesy McSqueezy up there if we need to. Just checking to see. I don't really have any vases or anything up there. This is a lootable coffin here. And we got a group of bad bads down there. All right, so let's go ahead and you know what? Actually, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the weaker skull vessels there, uh, so we have them. And let's do a, a sort here, and we want to replenish this. We want to replenish this, this, and uh, this. Our food buffs are, we have a little bit more time on those, so let's stretch them out just a bit more. Oh, I guess I need to repair my wand, because I was using it to break a few vase, vases in here. There's some up there, but you know what, let's just go. All right, let's nuke these guys. We need to go a little further down than that. So bone arrows there. Why don't we do this? Okay. There we go. Now we got their attention. Get wrecked. We got one caster guy down here. He dead too. Yep, give us those ecto shards, man. And the giant bone arrows. Not that I use arrows, but they're supposed to be really good arrows, actually, those giant bone arrows. Okay, so we have a, a left pathway to go there. Let's, uh, let's just kind of finish going this way first. Oh, we're going to pop one of these because it is mighty dark here. Don't know. I don't remember there being anything in this rubble. There might be. I just don't remember. Okay, so this is the way. Did we loot this coffin? Yeah, we did. Sometimes it's hard to tell if the lid is off or not based upon the angle that it's at. All right, we have another section to go down. Uh, right, there's a whole bunch of spideys down here. Okay, let's see if we can pre-nuke some of them. Come up to right about here. Okay, so that should take care of most of those dudes.
guess we could have done that just as easily from here, huh? Um, there's still one more little nest there. Okay, let's get this out just in case a few more might pop out. Like, we got a guy over there. Let's nuke this. And this. Alright, I don't want this. I think we want to keep everything else there. Secret room? Uh, doesn't appear to be anything in there. What about in here? Ah, yes. We have a silver chest in here. room to go left and a room to go right. Well, you know the rules. Left first. Those are the rules. Looking up to make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, we can go left or right there. Looks like there's a chest down that way. So let's go get this first. Any bad bads in here? Okay, we have a secret wall here. Interesting. I kind of remember this room, actually. Yeah, it's got like the big bone throne, which is the decoration we can get out of this place, I believe. Some bone arrows. I believe there's a... that kind of looks like there's another door behind there, doesn't it? It's because there is. Gold chest. All right, a snake spine wand. Let's pop another one of these. All right, I'm gonna nuke all the vases in here. I don't know if there's anything behind there or not. Consumable chest. Good, we got a wisp of light back out of that deal. That's where we came down. Lots of red stone. Okay, I think that's it for down here. mana potion. Let's go back this way. Okay, we can go left or straight. Okay, let's keep following the rules. Go left.
Oh, lordy. Oh, man, I love that stun. Okay, so we came out through here. Now we can go left, again, straight, or right. Let's keep going left. I'm pretty sure this is the area that we get the... the recipe for that throne. I just don't remember exactly how to do it, so we'll figure it out. Look at that. Two greater health potions. Something else up there, I guess not. Anything significant. This kind of looks like a dead end area. Nothing up there. There's some bones. Red. Red rock. Ice potion and more red rock. And health potion. Did we loot that? Yeah, we did. Okay, yeah, so this appears to be a dead end. Is that, uh, no, okay. So we went left. Uh, now let's go straight. Two flask of the fell. Beautiful. Shroud meteor scroll and another flask of the fell. All right, so there is a spawner down there. Let's remove it. Probably going to be another one. Yeah, I can barely see it. Okay, so that removes that. Let's go up here. Is that a lootable? Yeah, that is a lootable coffin. Take these vases out. Mana potion. And bones. Shroud Meteor. Okay, we have a door here. This is the way, the way forward. Eh, okay. 
I didn't realize we were still on the same path here. Uh, or on the main path, rather. I thought we were kind of off on a side path. Let's put that down so it's there, in case we do die. We'll come back here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this, 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 and that. And um, put these guys back down here. That is a level 20. Yeah, we'll salvage that. Okay. All right. Well, um, th this is going to lead to the really big room. I can tell already. Let's go back and see if we can get that recipe. Okay, so we came through there. We did not go right, so let's go right. And I am aware that I need to refresh my food buffs too, but let's wait until we run into some enemies. Well, hopefully not run into them, but get close to them. Flame. Okay, what's down through here? I think this is the right way to go to get the recipe. And we do have bad guys. So let's buff up. And we're pretty good on all of our potion stuff. That's where we got to get to. That's where the recipe is for the bone throne. The throne of bones. When you play the game of the throne of bones, either you win or you die. Summoning skulls and a potion. Ice protection. All right, let's head up here. Didn't quite time that one right. Let's try it again. footsteps down below. Two Wisp of Light potions. Fantastic. Gold chest. Salvage. Uh, delete, delete, keep, delete. We'll hang on to everything else. Probably didn't need to bring this, either one of those things with me, but we did. Okay, so I think all we have to do is just fly down uh, to get to that. Right. Okay, here we go. And there it is. 
Let's redecorate. These halls look so drab. Who said that eternal suffering had to be so stale? We could easily add some pizzazz, right? I have an idea. A throne made from bones. Imagine it. Fearsome, intimidating, gothic. Yes, it's a little on the nose, but why leave room for subtlety when you could be lounging on the remains of your rivals? Ah, I'm brilliant. I miss my calling as an interior decorator. Sure wish I wasn't undead. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So that is the recipe for the Highlands Hollow Halls. I believe we did find the recipe in Revelwood too, as I recall. Um, and then we'll get the recipe, of course, in Kendall Waste when the time comes. Now, before we proceed, um, let's go back here for a second, because I think there may have been another. Yeah, we, we didn't go right and we didn't go straight, but it looks... Oh, no, we did go right. Yeah, uh, wait, did we? Did we grab that? I don't remember. I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. All right, because that's where that secret room was. So, we didn't go this way. I don't remember what's over here. Stairwell going up here. And a door. Looks like a spider area. Secret room with a silver chest. Mystic gloves. Doesn't look like there's anything beyond that bookshelf. But we will break the vases. Oh, hello. I believe we're done in here. So, what the hell's over here besides spiders? Big spider room. Oh, this is where we came down. Um, all right, so we came through here, then. And I must have gone left, because I always go left first. And it we just we must have just circled around. I think that's what happened. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Okay. Yeah, we came down this way. We went around this way. And if we go that way, it just goes right back up the other way. That's the chest, and this is the way forward. Okay, now I know where I'm at. It just took me a second to kind of get everything oriented in in the old brain here. Let's do a repair. And I got that thing where my skirts are hiked up again. <laughs> uh, that's funny that it does that. Um, I think what we have to go here. We have to unequip and then reequip to fix it. There we go. All right, here we go. The big room. And there's going to be a boss in here as well. And spawners and all kinds of fun stuff. So, let's deal with this group of bad bads first. 
Get their spawner taken out before anything else. Got him. Okay. So I believe the way to handle this room is get all the ones that are down low first, and I think they're in like every other pillar. And then we go up and then get the ones that are up above. Because we have a whole mess of them to get in this uh, area. We'll nuke that. want to kind of run oh wow there's a spawner right in there that's a big spawner okay let's get the one over here Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll clear the bottom floor first. So that way if you know if we do happen to fall down here when we're up above, at least we don't have to worry about enemies trying to kill us. Um the boss guy is gonna be out there in the middle too. So we have to we have to deal with him as well. See, there's the first rune. Okay. There is a silver chest up that way that you can get to if you jump on the coffins. Is that a lootable? But we don't really need to get that. Because it's not going to have anything in it that we need, and God knows I do not need any runes. Is there a... I don't think there's anything in there. There is above, though. But we... I don't think we get that from down here. Or do we? Is there a hook? Hmm. Okay, there must be um there must be another way to get up there. Is it on the outside? Hmm. Yeah, I don't I guess I don't remember. There's the boss. See him way over there. Uh, I don't remember how to get up there. Don't see a hook. Oh, there it is. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so we got that one. Now, does that mean that there's also one at the top of this?
No, maybe it's the ones on the... S oh, you know what I think it is? I think when you start, it's the two on the end, and then it's the one in the center, and then it's the two on the end, and then the one in the center as you go down. I think that's the way that works. Right, okay. Yep, we got this. All right, we need to figure out our plan for boss man. Um, if we can... I don't remember where that teleporter takes us to. Let's use it and see where it takes us, because I don't remember. Are we? Oh, we're pretty high up. It's going to be kind of tricky to cheese, cheesy McSqueezy the boss from this high up. But while we're up here, let's at least um say hello to some of these dudes over here. Um, is there a spawner? Do they have a spawner on that thing? We deal with them now, we don't have to deal with them later. Okay. There's a rune right by Mr. Bossy Boss, too. Let's go over here. Don't push me off there. Rude. What I'm thinking we do is we fly down to that ledge and we cheese the boss from there. I'm not taking that son of a bitch on, on foot. Not in this area anyway. So, yeah, let's do that. And we need to repot also. Repot and re-scroll. Okay. Let's do this. One thing I gotta be careful is not to step off the edge. That's weird. He's getting backstab damage even though the fireballs are hitting in front of him. Right, let's wait for our mana to build back up. We're not getting any kills or anything, so it's not helping to regen the mana. And that's that. Okay. Yeah, we kind of cheesy mcsqueezy that, but hey, I'm a squishy, and I'm by myself, so sue me. <laughs> okay. Ring of health. Where did you guys come from?
Is that it? Okay, there's some dudes way over that way. I think that mostly takes care of them. That's going to be fun to get. Have to do some fancy flying on that one. In fact, uh, let's just do that now. Get it out of the way. Yeah, I screwed that up. I'll try it again. Drop and then glide. There we go. Not in the lava. Where the hell did you guys come from? Oh, we're actually over on the right hand side. I was thought we were still on the left hand side. There's actually two two runes up there. All right, let's go get the second one. I noticed that right when we grabbed the first one. Ah, just missed it. Try it again. There we go. Okay, so that takes care of that that many runes. Now, let's um there's one over here. So let's uh where's the door? I think it's over here. See now I'm all mixed up. Okay, so this is the side. The south side is where we came through. Oh, shit. Right? Right. Okay. So south is where we came through. North is where we exit. So let's work our way up the west side down below and make sure we have all the runes on the west side first. Then we'll circle around to get all the ones on the east side before we go up. Because we have a bunch that we have to get up top too. Alright, so is it this? I don't think there's anything in this pillar, so yeah, we gotta go to the next one. going to happen. There is a spawner in there. But I think we have to break the... Yeah, we have to break that blockage first before we can get to the spawner itself. Got it. Now, where's the hook to get up there? I wonder if we have to fly down to that.
Let's go. Let's look one more time. Yeah, I don't see any hooks in here. Hmm. Can we cheesy McSqueezy up this way? Oh! Well, yeah, if we don't screw it up. Okay, get some stamina back. There we go. I don't know if that's the way we were supposed to do that, but that's the way we did it. Okay, let's continue working up the west side. Looks like we have seven more that we got to get. That's another spawner there. This doesn't have anything. This one has one and it's got a hook. All right, so that takes care of everything on the west side. those guys Got that one. Delete that. What is this? Two health regen and 40 health. That's kind of a nice ring. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, we don't need these. Delete those. We don't need this. We don't need this. And I think we're good on everything else. Bad bads over at that pillar. Don't think so. Excellent. Okay, so I think we have. I think we've obtained all of the runes on the bottom. How many do we have left to do? Uh, five. Looks like we have five more. Okay, so let's go back to this other teleporter first. See, I've, I've only done this dungeon once. Um... And I've watched a couple other people do it after I did it for the first time. So I kind of understand in general, you got to get all the ones on the bottom and then all the ones on the top. But I don't remember exactly how to how that goes. So um, there's the south end of the building. So this teleported us. It uh, looks like we're still more kind of on the south end. Okay. So what we're going to do then is I think we have to get to that teleporter over there that takes us up higher where we get the first batch of runes. So we're going to start in the southwest corner of the building of the structure. And oh yeah, okay. See, there's, there's that one there. I think that this teleporter takes us up to that teleporter to get there. I think we nu nuked everybody over here, but let's just 
make sure there's no one else over there. Okay, I think we're good. This place is really confusing when you do it for the very first time, you know, and, and you come into it not having a clue about any how any of this works. Okay, so that takes care of that one. Now, um... Uh, okay, so this is southwest corner. I guess it wants us to now go to the southeast corner. That's fine, as long as we're following a pattern for how to do all this. Okay. Got it. So far, so good. Okay, let's keep moving north now. There is not a teleporter over there, but there's one over there. So I think what we got to do is... Go to the one way in the northeast corner to get to the one up there. How do we do that? Wow, look at all the faces here. I'm going to say I don't think we're intended to get over there from here. Well, hold on, though. Let's go to over to the other side of this. Maybe that's where we have to use the other... I bet you we have to use the other teleporter to get up there. Well, no, actually, you know what we can do? Here, let's just do this. That'll work, too. That's why we have updraft. We're going to have some spiders over here. Let's nuke them right now. A little pre-nuke never hurt anybody. Well, except for spiders and whatever else, whatever else is being pre-nuked. A little too far. Um. Okay, so we got to get over to there. Excellent. Okay. Um, now we probably need to go to the northwest. Oh, we only have one left to get. Okay, cool. So we probably need to go over to here, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, see, we got a bunch... We got a bunch of bats over here. And I would not have left them alive, so I'm pretty sure this is where we're supposed to go next. Uh, switch to your wand, please. Thank you. Yep, that's the one right there. I think we got this finally figured out. And that's it. All right. Yay us. Yay us. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that room is a bastard, man. <laughs> but we conquered it. Took a while. Let's put our so 
Just looking to see if there's maybe something behind that bookcase. Experience scroll and red marble fragment. Campfire down. <clears throat> All right. Um, trying to decide if we should press on or end the episode here. We're gonna have the next thing that I remember is we're gonna have the big room with the two bosses to do. And that's probably going to take me at least another 30 minutes. So, yeah, I think, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here. All right, guys, so thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we will pick up right where we left off in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.